Welcome to the JWK Show. We talk about crypto and we keep things short and concise. Also, a big thank you to our sponsor, Crypto Exchange BitUnex. You guys can check them out by using the link in the description below. That being said, let's get right into today's episode. As you guys know, we are heavily invested into both XRP and XLM. As they have been chosen by the 1%, we have the X symbolism, and we have from Black Swan Capitalist, he says, Ripple and Stellar are building the payment rails for central banks and financial institutions, which means that we will see XRP and XLM as a currencies running on them and all of the central banks and financial institutions using both XRP and XLM. And these guys are in charge of the financial system. So this is extremely bullish. And once you understand that, then you'll see that owning something as priceless as these two cryptocurrencies will put you ahead of the financial giants, right? We have the opportunity to achieve financial freedom, possibly generational wealth with XRP and XLM, depending on how much of these digital assets you hold. So as you guys can see here, we have Starbridge, a trust minimized bridge between Stellar and other blockchains. We have Stellar connecting to all of the other blockchains, digital assets. We call this interoperability. XRP Ledger, XRP are doing the exact same thing as well. And we can see that Stellar is becoming an established interoperability layer between a wide variety of financial systems with a growing number of Stellar anchors connecting fiat currencies with stable coins issued on Stellar. So we will see Stellar connecting all of the currencies and assets on top of the Stellar blockchain. For example, we have the USDC, US dollar, pesos, yen, yuan, all running on top of the XLM blockchain, right? So that is, again, all big stuff. Just like XRP, we have XLM bridging assets together, and we even have the World Bank mentioning both XRP and XLM. We have central bank digital currencies for cross-border payments. We have both Ripple and Stellar enable faster and more efficient cross-border payments relative to correspondent banking. So instead of using Nostro and Vostro accounts, we have banks using XRP and XLM instead for international transactions. And even Gematria matches up XRP and XLM. Jim McCallum, who is the founder of Stellar, is 58. XRP is also 58. XLM is 49. And ISO 2022 is also 49. And all these equal to 13. So XRP, XLM, Jim McCallum, ISO 2022, all of them are connected to each other. And we even have Franklin Templeton, one of the biggest institutions eyeing XRP. We have from the Digital Assets Bulletin, published in August of 2024, very recent, and they point out XRP as the best performer among the top 10 and mentions Ripple's escrow. We have Ripple releasing 1 billion XRP token, valued at $609 million. And we also have the mention of Russia aiming to launch a digital ruble, a blockchain-based digital currency by July of 2025. And again, we have XRP and XLM connecting the digital ruble to all of the other currencies. And taking a look at the ISO 2022 projects, we have all of the major events. You guys can pause the video and take a look. But for XRP, we have Ripple Swell happening on October 15 to the 16th. And for Stellar, we have Meriden 2024 also happening on the exact same day from the 15th to the 17th. But Meriden is for three days and Ripple Swell is just for two days. And what are the odds that we have the events happening at the same time? Again, more proof that these assets, these cryptocurrencies are connected to each other. And talking about the ISO tokens, we have Quant as well, a $1 billion market cap. Most coins are in circulation, no entities are dumping, and we could see Quant moving from 86 on coin market cap to a top 10. That is very, very possible. A 20x is definitely possible as we have the largest UK banks joining regulated liability network trials as R3. Quantech are selected. We have the largest UK banks using both XRP and Quant XRP through R3. And lastly, we have HBAR as well. Hedera has a global recognition as an enterprise grade DLT solution and is clearly looked by major players like MDLZ. We have Mandela's International, and these guys are backed by BlackRock, Vanguard, State Street, JP Morgan, Bank of America, essentially all of the big 1% players. They are major shareholders of Mandela's, right? So with Mandela's choosing HBAR, this is very bullish for HBAR, also an ISO token, and eventually should be a top 10 digital asset as well. That's it for the video. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one.